It's been about two weeks since Gears 5 has been out that I'm sure a lot of Xbox fans have finished the campaign and are busy fragging each other online in the verses or having a good time in Horde. But I'm sure a lot of other people out there are wondering what's next for Xbox. What's on the horizon besides games like Outer Worlds, Halo Infinite, Bleeding Edge, Minecraft Dungeons, Wasteland 3, etc., etc. They want to know what some of these new studios are working on. And we got some pretty good info. New games, sequels, and yes, new IP. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it. What is going on guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a great day. And if you don't mind, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for future content. So what are we talking about? Games, games, games. Games from new studios, potential sequels, new IP. Man, that brings a smile to my face. But I already know what a lot of you are thinking. Rand, wait a minute. Xbox has no games. These studios that Microsoft bought, everybody knows they're AA studios that Microsoft only picked up because they make Game Pass fodder trash. And didn't you hear the news? Microsoft's about to close Xbox down. They're hiding all the vital information from the investors in their quarterly reports. It's curtains for Xbox. They're going under. Of course, you always got to have a laugh at those people. Chuckle and be like, man, are these people idiots or what? We're going to talk about what's really important. Brand new games. I posted a new review for the Sojourn today. I was happy to get through Gears 5. Happy that you guys enjoyed that video. And we're going to be talking about games in this video. Because Aaron Greenberg said that he's pleasantly surprised every single time he steps in to visit one of the new studios. And that before too long, people will see just how much content is coming. And yeah, we know about stuff currently. We got Halo Infinite coming at the end of the year. You know, we have Outer Worlds coming next month. Sure, that one is on every platform. But Outer Worlds 2 pretty much confirmed to be an Xbox ecosystem exclusive. I know that term is a little bit weird, but only on Xbox and only on PC. And then of course, we know about some of the games launching early next year, like Bleeding Edge and Battletoads, which Battletoads is a game I have no interest in, but it's there. Minecraft Dungeons, Wasteland 3, Flight Simulator, there's even like Gears Tactics. But the content is coming and there's a lot of it. And uh, he says that he thinks that we have a lot to uh, surprise the fans with and a lot to share over the next year. There's Inside Xbox tomorrow. I don't think we'll see anything new there. But XO19 is in November, and I would expect a Ninja Theory game to be revealed there. I know a lot of people hope for Fable, but I don't think it'll be there. But let's get into this interview because he said that you can expect more games, more new games. You can expect sequels. And you can expect new IP. And you can expect things you never, never thought of. That's the fun part of it. That's all music to my ears. Because I want more games from Microsoft. I want quality games from Microsoft. And yeah, I do want sequels where it's appropriate. Halo, Gears, Fable, Forza. But more than that, I want new IP. It's been the one area where I felt Xbox was extremely lacking this generation but with all the new studios that they have bought it's new IP creation time now some of it will be AAA like the initiative is building potentially what Obsidian is doing and what Playground is doing and there'll be AA titles strapped in there but I play literally everything so the classification of A's doesn't matter to someone like me it might matter to you might not matter to other people it's does not matter to me and you can check my gamer card on xbox over a million gamer score i mean it just speaks for itself but he talked about three studios he says ninja theory when we met them we were like hey we've had this project in development before you guys acquired us the multiplayer character shooter brawler bleeding edge wow we didn't expect that and then Aaron went on to say that Tamim, who was the creative director on Hellblade, his team is off working on something else, and we haven't talked about that yet. So yeah, Bleeding Edge, which if you guys remember when people were freaking out when it was revealed back at E3, that 
Microsoft was like, oh my god, how could you actually go in there, buy Ninja Theory, this great studio known for single player, and force them to make a multiplayer game? And of course, as I explained in those videos, because I had known about the game months in advance, the game was in production already at Ninja Theory, and it was a game that was pretty close to coming out. As you can tell, they're running a test every single week. It'll probably come out at the beginning of next year. And it was a game that Microsoft was happy to let them finish because Microsoft is giving all these new studios the creative freedom to build whatever they wanted. So they moved the team up from like 10 people to 25, and that game's coming out next year. And sure, it may not be everyone's thing, but that's pretty damn cool in my opinion. And obviously when you, when you, when you take Greenberg where he says that you can expect sequels, is to memes team working on Hellblade 2? A single-player cinematic story-driven game that everybody wants to see from help from that team or are they working on something completely brand new I think that game's gonna be announced at XO 19 personally but I can't wait to see what else Ninja Theory is working on because I have a feeling there's a third team working on a completely different game but then you come to Obsidian who is putting out the Outer Worlds next month Greenberg says at Obsidian, there's a team working in Outer Worlds, a team that's working on Pillars, and a team that's working on another secret thing. So Outer Worlds is next month. Hopefully it's really good. It's on Game Pass Day 1 on Xbox, as well as Game Pass on PC. Pillars of Eternity, highly critical, critically acclaimed uh, franchise that Obsidian was uh, making before Microsoft acquired them. But there's the confirmation that there's a third team that... They're working on something different, but who knows when that game gets announced. And you can probably assume that the Outer Worlds team, when they finish with that, if it's successful, and if they want to, they'll move right on to the Outer Worlds 2 with more than likely a bit bigger budget uh, and bigger scope for a few years down the road. And then of course there's In Exile, the Wasteland 3 team, and there's a team working on another thing we don't just have new ip what we have done is taken a collection of some of the greatest creative minds in the industry and given them the freedom and the resources to go do what they want to create and then we let them do that independently we support them every way we can and then we have them come back with those creations when they're ready and work out the right time to show them so this is exactly what i've wanted to hear i don't know about you guys but this gets me really excited about what Microsoft and Xbox is doing for the future. More content that these creative visionaries want to make instead of just the same old, same old. New IP from the people that want to build new IP. Sure, some games will be big. Some games will be that AAA budget of stuff. And some games will be the smaller ones. But I'm perfectly okay with that. As I've said before, Ori and the Blind Forest is one of my favorite games this entire generation. And it's a $30 indie title. And it's better than most $60 AAA games out there. I think people get hung up too much on the classification of whether a game is AAA or AA or what the budget is. Just make a great game, whether it's big or small, and people will play it. That's what it's all about for me. But that's me. I can't speak for everybody else. So I want you guys to hit the comment section and tell me what you want to see Ninja Theory make next. What you hope the secret team is working on at Obsidian. And what you want In Exile to make. Now personally, I want the Hellblade team to work on a single player story game. That's not Hellblade 2. I don't think Hellblade needs a sequel, so that's what I want. As for the Obsidian team, you know, I would love to see Alpha Protocol 2. I would love to see that happen. I don't think it will, but I would love to see a new RPG from them uh, with a bigger budget, new IP. As for In Exile, I'm not really a fan of what they're doing but I will check out whatever they do make. Wasteland 3 is not my thing, but I'll have to wait and see what that other game is. And that's just three of the studios. You know, there's still Playground Games and 
if that is a fable RPG or not, there's still compulsion, there's still undead labs, there's still a lot of other things going on. Rare, obviously they're making something else besides Thea Thieves. But I just wanted to get this out there and tell you guys that, hey, <laughs> Xbox is in a good position. The games will be here before you know it, and you'll have tons to play. And I am really excited for the future of Xbox. But that's just me. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that like button, share this out on social media, consider subscribing to the channel for more content, and hit that notification bell if you always want to be notified immediately when I drop new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.